Cues in question should focus on what is important as opposed to what is unusual. Research actually indicates that the more students know about a particular topic, the more they tend to be interested in it. Consequently, questions designed to help students obtain a deeper understanding of content will eventually increase their interest in a particular topic. Higher level questions produce deeper, deeper learning than lower level questions. Questions that require students to analyze information or think for themselves, frequently called higher level questions, produce more learning than questions that simply require students to recall or recognize certain information. Waiting briefly before accepting responses from students has the effect of increasing the depth of students' answers. Questioning is the use of wait time for several seconds after asking a question to give students time to think about before being called to answer. Researchers have found to be associated with such noteworthy aspects of learning. Questions are effective learning tools even when asked before a learning experience. Sometimes teachers and students generally think of questioning as something to do uh, after the learning experience. Uh, but if you learning experience establish a mental set with which each student process the learning experience. Again, higher level questions tend to produce deeper levels of learning. There are three main types of cues and questions focused on in this book. The first is explicit cues. Cues are straightforward ways of activating prior knowledge. So basically, explicit cues is previewing exactly what you're going to be doing in that lesson. The second kind is questions that elicit inferences. This will help the students fill in a great deal of missing information. Questions can greatly aid students in this process, and it's a little bit higher level than just simply explicit cues. Lastly, there's analytic questions. Some questions require students to analyze and even critique the information presented to them. This would be the highest level of cues and questions. Now we're going to get into advanced organizers. Advanced organizers should focus on what is important as opposed to what is unusual. Higher level advanced organizers produce deeper learning than the lower level advanced organizers. Advanced organizers are most useful with information that is not well organized. And different types of advanced organizers produce different results. Now let's break some of these down into their individual types of advanced organizers. First we have the expository. These are organizers simply describe the new content to which students are to be exposed. It's just simply describing things. Narrative. These advanced organizers present information to students in a story format. Skimming. Skimming information before reading can be a powerful form of advanced organizer. It helps to set in the students' minds what they're going to be learning. And we have graphic organizers. These are a non-linguistic representation of the information to be learned. Um, some students that are visual learners will look at this and grab the concepts before they will trying to get it reading. Thanks for listening to our presentation.